Welcome back to this week's new releases. obviously and um well obviously if you've been watching the videos we're back again with a new week uh this is the 22nd releases yep of whatever month we're in now we're halfway through the year so we're getting there eventually slowly um it's just me again again for this week thank you very much um for the lovely comments last week that i got i'm really glad that you guys are enjoying it um and i do enjoy doing it on my own it's just it is more difficult because i you know me and shane we just bounce off each other like really well so here in the comments that you comments the comments that you guys put last week saying that um you really loved it that it made me smile still making me smile thank you very much <laughs> um so this week is quite smaller compared to the other weeks that we normally get so i remember i held up independent and it was like massive last week but this is the only stuff that we have for independent this week so i'm going to try and bis through as much as i can um nothing in independent has like stood out for me this week in terms of new issue number ones i know last week we talked about um i think it's to do a power bomb and I really enjoyed it. It was so good. I know a couple of people have read it. Thank you very much. I came in to also buy it. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm just going to jump into independent this week and I'll try and give as many recommendations as I possibly can. So first off, we have Transformers Beast Wars. We then have the next issue of Rogue Sun. This is issue number five. I can't believe that this has been going on for like five months already. Um, this is one that Shane really enjoys. I read the first issue. I say that when it comes in anyway. <laughs> and then we also now have the fourth, well, the five, the four out of five Radiant Red, which is quite popular. So this is coming to an end soon. So start collecting it. Um, and if you like reading in bulk that Shane does, um, you can start doing that next time it comes in. We then have the next issue of Noctera, which is a really, it's amazing, it's such a good independent comic. It's written by Scott Snyder, who obviously caught the owls, just caught of owls, not caught of the owls. Just an amazing writer. I highly recommend. Noctera is really good um, if you want to get into independent comics and sort of sci-fi stuff like that. We then have New Burn, issue number eight, written by Chip Zdarsky, who is, I hope I pronounced his name right, who is obviously did our writer. Just amazing. We then have the second issue of My Little Pony. I literally love My Little Pony. We also got new My Little Pony figures in the shop this week, and I was just looking at them, I was like, it's weird what you like as a kid. It's just, it's weird how my brain works because that was literally so entertaining to me. So there we are. We then have issue number three of The Hidden uh, Planeswalker, which is magic. Obviously, if you play magic, come along to our Monday Night Magic sessions. Um, we have the next issue, issue number five of The Killer of Fears of the State. Again, another really popular one. Um, kind of like a theme with the most popular comics amongst our team. We really do like guns. Don't know why. We then have I Hate This Place, which is issue number two. I've not read the first issue, but there's also an explicit um, variant. I didn't bring it up with me, but don't keep watching if you don't want to hear an explicit word. The explicit cover says, I I think I've... It says the F word. It says, I fucking hate this place on it. Which, you know, if you can tell how much they hate that place. It's, it's quite big. They don't like the place at all. <laughs> we then have the next issue of Bloodstained Teeth. Which is quite cool because I've just noticed that the image logo is like that. So I think this is one that I wanted to read. I read it when it came in and it says Patrick Reynolds at the top. And I thought it said Ryan Reynolds for some reason. And I was like, Ryan Reynolds in a comic? So Ryan Reynolds, do a comic please because that would sell out. And I would definitely buy it because I love Ryan Reynolds. We do have another issue number one. We have Beware the Eye of Odin, which is written by Image. And it looks really good. Um, obviously this is Norse mythology, Norse mythology, not the comic series, but the actual, like, mythology. It looks quite interesting. If you're into mythology and stuff like that, this may be the comic for you. That I would definitely be recommended that to some people. And then finally, we have issue number five of All New Firefly, which is obviously All New Firefly. And this can be read fresh start, not knowing anything about Firefly from number one. 
So you've got five issues if you want to have a bit of a read. Very exciting. So that's all we have for Independent this week. Very easy to go through. We now have, dare I say, as much... I do love Marvel, and I do love Independent, and I do love DC. I like to think I'm very well versed, and I cover a lot of land. Um, but this week, i got to give it to DC. They've come out with some incredible stuff. And it looks like... I'm not sure if DC is bigger than Marvel this week, but it looks bigger. So... That's very rare occurrence. We have issue 93 of Nightwing, which is obviously written by Tom Taylor and Barbara Gordon is on the cover. And I love Barbara Gordon. She's one of my favourite DC characters of all time. She looks so beautiful. I love all the art. There's also a Pride variant I didn't bring up this week. Um, the cover B and the cover C are just like incredible. I I love all the covers that Nightwing does because they are... Oh, they're so thick. Yeah. I won't get into that. <laughs> we have issue number one of Milestones in History, which looks exceptional. It really does. It's an 80 page uh, giant. There's your little sneaky peek of it. We then have the Dark Crisis tie in for The Flash, which is issue number 783. And I've not read The Flash before. I'm just. We then have the final issue of If Prime, Heroes Twilight, which obviously coincides with the CW shows. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm not reading it. I don't think I've seen any of the CW shows, except I've seen a bit of Supergirl. I'm pretty sure. We then have issue number two of Duo. And I love the cover. Oh my God. That's just the woman in me loving the woman on the cover, though, to be honest with you. We then have Dark Crisis Young Justice, which has... Cassie on the front of the cover. It's a limited series, so it's one of six. New issue. I absolutely love it. Repping the Wonder Fam this week. We then... Actually, I'm going to say that last. So we don't have then. <laughs> we have issue number four of Batman Superman Will's Finest with Green Lantern on the cover. Ooh! The cardstock variant for this is amazing because it has my two favourite... Two, two, one of... Two of, not my the favourite, but it had Lois Lane and it also had Selena Kyle on it. And at the moment, whenever I can, I'm trying to collect, I think it's from, it's the 60s to 70s, I'm pretty sure, Superman's Girlfriend Lois Lane, like the comic series. Um, whenever I can, I'm trying to like pick up issues wherever. I don't know why, I just like collecting them. We then have 6 of 10, Batman the Night, which is, again, really popular amongst the team. A really good Batman story if you're into Batman. We then have book one of Aquaman, The Flash, Void Song. Ooh. Arthur looks really good on that. Love a beard. And then I am going to leave this for last, last, because I was going to put a spotlight on this because everyone will be like, Amy, we know, all right? We know you like Catwoman, but it's Catwoman week. I'm so excited. Please read Catwoman. Because Selena Kyle is probably top three favourite characters of all time, just like anywhere. I love it so much. And obviously you're getting a cute girl team up between Catwoman and Harley, which I absolutely love. It's amazing. I love classic Harley style. Vroom vroom, they'll never catch kitten. Which is amazing. And you've got like the bold red lips. I just love the colours on this. It looks amazing. And it's Geordie Bellet, um, doing the colouring, I'm pretty sure. So, Geordie Belair is one of my favourite, just like, Geordie Belair and Joelle Jones are literally the dream pair. Those two, I'm not even joking, if, if I have a comic, if it's got Geordie Belair and Joelle Jones on it, I am buying it, no matter what it is. So, can I get a little bit of a drum roll? I don't want to hit the table, so I'm just going to... You better be doing this along with me at home because otherwise I look like a complete idiot. So I'm holding you on to that. We have issue number one of a 12 part limited series. Black Adam. Oh my God. There is a couple of people on the team that are really excited into reading this, especially Corey. Shout out to Corey. Um, I said that I'd give it a little special mention in this video for him because he's a big fan. And obviously Black Adam. What film is coming out soon? With none other than The Rock in it. That's all I have to say. I know we always go back to the one point of smart marketing. 
And it's weird, actually, how different mediums influence each other. I'll say that. Yeah. And then I'll move on. <laughs> so next, we'll go through Marvel. The last one. There's some really good stuff coming out this week. We have the next um, issue of Star Wars Crimson Rain, issue number five. And if you're watching Obi-Wan Kenobi, oh my god. It's Tuesday today. The last episode comes out tomorrow. Last week's episode was amazing. Just amazing. Please comment down below. No spoilers. But feel free to, you know, tell me what you thought about it. Because I personally, I loved it so much. We then have issue number five of Silver Surfer Rebirth. We have the next issue, issue number 12 of Moon Knight, and everyone loved the TV series. If you didn't like the TV series, what are you doing? We then have issue number 39 of Miles Morales, uh, Spider-Man, with such a cool cover. I feel like I recognise the cover artist for that. It's going to come to me after the video, I'm pretty sure. We then have more Miles Morales. We have Miles Morales, Spider-Man, and Moon Girl, with a dinosaur on the cover. That is so cute. Oh my god. I don't really like dinosaurs, as we all know. <coughs> Jurassic League! Sorry, don't know what came over me then. Moving on. We have the next issue, issue number four of Maestro. And then for the X Men installments this week, we have issue number three of Immortal X Men. And oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love Emma Frost so much. Emma Frost is my favourite X Man. Um, and then we also have Knights of X, issue number three. And all the Hellfire Gala variant covers are starting to come out now. I'm pretty sure it's Knights of X that has the Wanda um, variant. And it just looks so amazing. I love just like the cultural heritage that's been implemented into the suit. It looks amazing. We then have um, issue number four of the amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Does why have a spider can? Fine finally. Well, almost finally. We have... Punisher, I think it's War General, General Blitz. I separated this because I know Shane loves Punisher. And if he was here, he's here with me in spirit. He would be loving this. I'm definitely going to be reading this because I know the Punisher ongoing is really good. And I did expect to enjoy it as much as I did. So I am going to be reading this. It looks amazing. So sick. And then finally, finally, the last comic of this week. We have Marvel Voices Pride. This is the main cover. This is cover B. Main cover looks amazing. Obviously, it has America Chavez on it. Um, it's got Wiccan, Hawking. Oh, I'm going all about the place. Amazing. Um, obviously, it's just a collection of Pride for June that we're in. Because, um, obviously, it's Pride Month. And it's just nice seeing all the LGBT characters coming together. Especially influencing, like people in this generation and people in older generations as well i feel like it's just influencing and just giving an outlet for people to be themselves and to showcase it through a medium that means the most to them because i know a lot of there's a lot of history behind stuff like this with comics so it's just nice to see and um, i will be picking it up and i just wanted to show cover b as well because it has my favorite character of all time black cat on it next to captain marvel and one woman obviously and it has odessa drake and if you don't know who Odessa Drake is, read the Black Cat Run. Pinky promise me because it's so good if you've not read it. And obviously you've got Peter Parker on it as well. So that's Felicia with the two cute little love interests. Although I reckon they could have squeezed MJ in some way. Because MJ and Felicia in the one shot for Beyond is my favourite comic of all time. If you know me. And if you've not read Mary Jane and Black Cat Beyond, then we can't be friends. We can't. So if you ever see me in the store, just come chat to me about Mary Jane and Black Cat. And then I'll know you're a true fan of the channel. So that's everything that's coming out this week. It's very exciting. Um, I'm trying to rack my brain if there's any like Marvel, pop culture, DC stuff that I should go through. Um, it's the last episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, I'm pretty sure Multiverse of Madness is going on to Disney Plus very soon. It's the third episode of Miss Marvel tomorrow. And I'm not sure when the Black Adam film is coming out, but get excited. Get ready. Start reading the comics. If you want to get into comics, DC are literally giving you the perfect opportunity to just read them now before the film releases.
so get on it guys thank you very very much for watching but before i go this week i gotta give a special little mention that once we hit a thousand followers we will be giving away a 9.8 edge of spider verse fatimily edition of the first appearance of gwen stacy so this is well, Spider-Gwen, not the first appearance of Gwen Stacy. So once we hit a thousand followers on our YouTube, well, subscribers, whatever you want to call it, um, we will be giving this away to one of the lucky people. And I really want to own it. And I'm going to be like, Nan, enter it so you can win it for me. Cheers. Love you. <laughs> so that's all for this week now. Um, hopefully, I think I said this last week, but hopefully I'll be back to normal next week as much as you guys made me smile with your little comments and all the compliments growing my ego what you guys like um, but if you ever see any of us in store and you want help you want recommendation feel free to come up to any of us because we love talking to people and just being able to geek out with you all um yeah thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe don't forget about our tiktok our facebook our instagram all that lovely stuff and hopefully i will see you guys again next week so thank you very much for watching bye guys Mwah. thanks a lot for watching the video guys if you have any questions leave in the comments below don't forget to like share subscribe thank you very much good night god bless all the best